Call the law enforcement committee meeting to order. Uh, Commissioner Maddox, if you would have a word of prayer for us. Yes, sir. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this opportunity to come here tonight. Lord, I pray that you continue to watch over us, protect us as we do the people's business. Lord, I pray that you would be with those that are sick and those who have lost loved ones. Lord, I pray that you would touch them. Lord, I pray that you continue to uh, be with our county and be with those that uh, represent the, uh, the folks here. And it's in your name I pray, dear Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Next be roll call. Looks like we're all present. Next on the agenda will be the uh, approval of the minutes from October 17th. Make that motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Uh, public comment. There's nobody signed nothing on up. The paper. Nothing. Mm -hmm. no. Somebody needs to be recognized. We will do so. Uh, the next will be animal control report. And you have a copy. She's here. Also. And she goes, she's here. Hello. Um, I don't have anything to add to the report. I do have a couple of announcements. Um, as I said last month, uh, what we've done and, and with the what I call a roller coaster, it is working. We seem to be moving some um, animals out. I feel like the community maybe heard our cry. I'm not real sure, but we, we do seem to be having a few more adoptions and everything. Um, next Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure, but we were fortunate to be asked by a rescue out of Colorado um, to join with another rescue in Marshall County, and we're sending 21 cats that are uh, too young to be spayed and neutered. So these are like nursing mothers or kittens that, you know, a pound um, that we are just holding because they can't be spayed and neutered until they're two pounds. Uh, so we're fortunate we're going to be sending 21 on transport next Monday or Tuesday. Um, the um, rescues have been stepping in. So I, I think what has happened is because we're giving them a break, they're able to kind of siphon. It's, it's like, a, like a tunnel, I guess, of animals coming in and out. So uh, it, they're able to catch a little bit of a break and then move some more animals, you know, to other states, uh, mainly up north. Um, so, so the things we are doing is working. And Mayor, I just wanted to thank you for for standing behind us. Uh, I also want to tell you guys that uh, my crew has been working extremely hard to help get these animals out to maintain, uh, you know, our operations as a no kill shelter. And and we're just we're working extremely hard every day to try to uh, just you know keep at it and. Uh, along with help our community. That was, uh, the transport also allowed us to bring in owner surrenders too that might have had young kittens. So it did help the community as well. Fantastic. Any questions? Comment, just remind the public and us one more time about where we can find these pets to see their pictures. You, you can find these pets on our, um, our Facebook page, which is Bedford County Animal Control TN. Uh, because there is a Bedford County, Virginia, exactly. and we yeah. kept getting mixed up, um, so it's under TN. Uh, you can also go on to Pet Finder, mm -hmm. and um, John had posted, uh, he, he went on and you posted the link for us, correct? Yeah, yeah if you don't mind posting that again, um, yeah, uh, it can be found on Pet Finder. And the way Pet Finder works, just real quick, uh, once the animals have been spayed, neutered, vaccinated, fully microchipped, whatever our criteria is, they are automatically uploaded. Um, if they get adopted, like today, if someone adopted at 4 o'clock today at midnight, they will fall off of the Pet Finder. So we figured out how to automatically do that to take a little pressure off us. I, um, I, I saw you all set up at the tractor supply uh, event. It looked like it was pretty successful, I hope. It was successful. So we took three cats that were ready to go. Um, all of them got adopted. And I, I do need to thank uh, Coldwell Banker and Tractor Supply for inviting us to this event. Um, it's always good to get out and let people see kind of the other side of us. Um, so it was a great event. I'm hoping they do that every year. Uh, and I hope we're invited. But I do need to thank those folks over there. They were, they were amazing. Yeah, it looked super successful. Yeah. Any further comments? Hearing none. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Next be the Sheriff's Department report. Okay.
Okay, guys, I know you got some of this, but uh, the Sheriff's Department in the month of October patrolled well over 75,000 because the mileage on this does not indicate mine or the chief's mileage. Uh, I don't think it does yours. I know it does. <laughs> um, 73 accidents, traffic accidents, 320 investigations, um, 69 transports in custody, 193 traffic stops, 69 9-11 calls. Um, I guess that's the biggest part. Total warrants that we served in the month of October was 867 warrants. Um, total arrests made were 252. Uh, I won't get into the jail part because uh, Ronald is here, and uh, I don't want to get into his into his stuff. Um, on court security, there were thirteen hundred and seventy four that were on the docket. Uh, total, as far as showing up in court, was one thousand six hundred and ninety five. All this in October, and the total amount of people, which does not count the ones that come into the sheriff's department. This is just the main part of the. Justice Center, the total amount of people that came through was 5,026. Uh, drug Task Force report, during the month of October, there were 22 investigations. Uh, 30 defendants were identified or arrested or indicted. Four firearms were seized. 627 in cash uh, was seized. Uh, Pretty much everything, uh, methamphetamines, hydrocodone, um, cocaine, cocaine base, 44 doses of controlled prescription medications, most which are suspected to contain fentanyl, uh, some heroin, uh, seven hits of ecstasy. Uh, so it's pretty mixed bag on the, on the drugs. There were 17... Uh, convicted felons, previously convicted felons, nine which were actually on supervised felony parole that uh, they dealt with. So it was a busy month for them. Uh, at the Sheriff's Department, I think all this has been since the last uh, meeting we had here, we've had two graduating classes from our MRT program. Uh, Sylvia can tell you all about it. She, I say that jokingly, Sylvia plays a big part in that. She's a big supporter of that. Uh, one of the classes was um, females, and of Zoe, I think she's gone now, but she was there to cover that. We appreciated that. And then the <clears throat> excuse me, one we had about a week, week and a half ago was actually males that had graduated. Uh, now, if I, my memory serves me right, uh, Lieutenant Cook told me of the 100 a little over 100 that had gone through that program that only like six or seven have six ever or seven been, have returned back have ever returned back to jail which is the whole this is success, success rate that, is good yeah, right. I'll say that we'll have 50 come back next month maybe, but yeah. probably not <laughs> and no. we are we're very proud of the success rate at least so far on that um, one we actually did our National Night Out at the uh, Sheriff's Department, which took place in uh, late October. That was, to my knowledge, the latest one we've ever done. It's usually uh, early in October, and we've even done them in the summertime. And the biggest change of all, we did it at the Sheriff's Department rather than out at the park complex. I really went into it thinking, there's probably not going to be a lot here. I couldn't have been, couldn't been further from the truth. It was real I mean I don't know I, I'm just guessing I'd say two or three times as many people uh, seem like it's come came before when we were at the park complex the uh, Vanderbilt had their helicopter uh, EMS EMA and fire departments everybody uh, was pretty much present and had a, their own uh, booths and shows and activities set up Tennessee Highway Patrol and it of, of all I've been involved with, it was probably the most successful. And thank goodness uh, the weather was pretty nice, too, to be that late. Uh, 
we've had one promotion, uh, Lieutenant, well, Sergeant Benji, Benji, as we call him, Benji Burris, was promoted to lieutenant over the uh, court security because Lieutenant Tony Barrett was pulled out, and now he's the lieutenant over all the SROs. And we just thought that was too much for him to have to try to c cover the SROs as, as well as court security. So Sergeant Benji Burris has been promoted to lieutenant, and uh, we will soon, probably by my next report, be able to tell you of a sergeant that we've promoted in that division as well. Um, that's all I got, unless Chief's got something else. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah, yeah Mr. Sheriff, I, I appreciate you, appreciate everything you guys do, I, I uh, and gals do. Uh, quick question. As it pertains to the DTF report, um, I know that we you skimmed over a, a few things as it pertains to, you know, mixed mix bag of meth and mm -hmm. hydrocodone, but... Is there a way that we can get a hard copy of that DTF report included in in the data that you sub, that you all submit for this meeting? I don't know. I'll check and see. Okay. I just I think it's important, and I think you know, um, with any other reporting that you get, it's always good to kind of know what you're up against as far as comparison. You know, so if you were to look at the data this year, how does it how does it look? You know, versus last year, and then. You know, next year at the same time, I think it would be important and, um, you know, telling, it'd be a story to tell to see, you know, where are we in regards to this report versus, you know, this time this year. Mm. So it would be very beneficial for me, and I think others would, would probably see you it as value. You track numbers. Right. Yes. You know, from year to year or from month to month. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call out. That's a great call. Is there any way to uh, compartmentalize that information or that data? I don't know. <laughs> that's a good call. Well, even for our district, that's who that group works for, the 17th Judicial District. I mean, mm. even as a district, that data would still be helpful. It even would though be. It, it includes what, two counties? Well, it's supposed to. Well, and I mean, it is. Three. It's yeah. Bedford, Marshall, Lincoln, and more. Um, more has never, and this goes back yeah. to my chief of police days, Moore's never really had much of a part into it. Um, Lincoln County fell off 20 years ago, I guess. They had a sheriff come in that didn't want to uh, participate. He wanted to set up his own task force. and uh, So basically the 17th Judicial Drug Task Force and one of their officers is actually sitting back there. So... <clears throat> If I say anything wrong, don't let you correct me. Nothing like being on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's mainly now Marshall County, Bedford County. Now, that includes Lewisburg and Shelbyville. Yeah. They, all of those entities are supplying uh, officers for the drug task force, and then you all have some of your own, too, I think. Yes, so, so uh, but basically now it's two counties, Bedford, Marshall, and the towns therein. Yes. Do y'all do much in more, I mean, more or Lincoln now? Or, I know you do some, but... Well, and that was the last year we did the Bedford County Consolidated and the Bedford and other counties. We just have areas that we're trying to investigate in Marshall or Bedford, and it leads us to more County yeah. than more, more Lincoln County, and we'll go there. So we have all the local law enforcement there. And, there. and they're state officers. I mean, they can go anywhere in the state of really Tennessee awesome. like... Trooper. So, Mr. Chair, if you could possibly just conversation the chairman and I are having, I, we, we both feel it would be beneficial. I'm not sure if the rest of the group would as well, but um, I know I would personally appreciate it. You have the data, you recite it um, for the most part, but it would be good to have it if we can get it. Any further questions? Comments? Anything else? Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Jail. Right. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> we uh, took in a hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred thirty-two dollars and seventy-six cents in uh, in revenue for the jail in October. Um, we didn't have the numbers for September for the state inmates. 
but we made it off of state inmates uh, county cooking in $122,016 uh, for state inmates in September. In November, I'll have the numbers for uh, for October, but I just don't have those as today. Uh, we had um, we served a total of 42,000 meals, 432. Um, our plate cost went down to a dollar four, so that's helping them a little bit. Uh, we had 373 stacks. Uh, Juvenile had 1,201 uh, meals that they had, and they had 335 snacks. Um, we have uh, 276 people in custody today. Uh, 98 of those are state in male inmates and 23 uh, female state inmates, and the rest are all county and non sentence How many females? 23 state. 23 uh, state. Yes, ma'am. I don't have the number for the county or the non -sentenced. Um We saved the uh, city and county $44,352 with uh, trustees. We have 10 crews going out now. We're averaging anywhere from three to four people a crew. So we're getting them boys to work. And that's all I got. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Ronnie. Right, next on the agenda will be the EMA report. I really don't have anything to add. I will say one thing, though. Um, I, I come in all the time and talk about Bedford County's chosen for this and Bedford County's chosen for that. Um, so here recently we were contacted um, by the um, uh, regional director for Middle Tennessee for TEMA. He called and asked if we would uh, fulfill a, a request from the Secretary of State's office uh, for a first responder photo. And I, I'll use photo shoot because I don't know if that's correct op. or not. Op. Photo op. Photo op. <laughs> um, not shoot. Right. So <laughs> next year, the Secretary of State puts out what they call the Tennessee Blue Book. Some of the folks may be in, um, know what I'm talking about. But for the ones that don't, that book covers Tennessee agencies and government and explains who's in charge and how and what they do. Every year they choose something to recognize 2024, they're recognizing first responders. And the team had reached out to us and asked if we could put a group together, which we did for all of our uh, county and city police, county and city fire, EMS, 911. Um, our office also, and they came out and did that. So I thought that was kind of neat that uh, mm -hmm. they would think of us in Bedford County to. Uh, put those photos in that book for 2024. So uh, one of the things, once again, we got to, we got to ask to do because we uh, um, do good things and can be trusted and counted on. So I just wanted to, to say that, that I uh, look forward to that. Uh, I told everybody that participated that uh, we'd Congratulations. We'd get them, you know, Congratulations. Them. Uh, we would get them a book. So that's something that's kind of neat. They're going to be all across the state of Tennessee. And mm -hmm. so that's that's a once in a lifetime, uh, a lot of the times. So, other than that, uh, I don't have anything to add. Congratulations. Just a comment. His office has also been working on the Christmas parade. It's a lot of things, and I think we've got it all nailed down. We're ready to but go. It, <laughs> we uh, we we did the Veterans Day parade. That uh, that was went real well. We had really good weather. A uh, pretty good crowd out for that, and yes, I was I was telling um, Commissioner Thomas that uh, um, I think the first time since I've been here, we have all of our things covered right now, which is unusual because we're usually uh, a little bit behind, but we are ready for the Christmas parade. Uh, one other thing I'll add is I'm working with. Uh, I was contacted by um, Ward Trace about uh, their siren being out. Uh, tornado siren. Tor uh, tornado siren, correct. Um, so we've been working with them and waiting to hear from the mayor, back from the mayor, the possibility that uh, we could do something on our hazard mitigation grant. As you know, has under the hazard mitigation grant, Bell Buckle, War Trace, Normandy, school system, the county, 
all fall under that um, for hazards. So we're looking at that also. So I just want to let you kind of let y'all know that that's in the works too. I think I talked to Commissioner Hooker. I've talked to a couple of aldermen there, and uh, I did talk to the mayor this at the end of last week. So we're working on that also. That's no problem. Any other questions? Hearing none. Uh, I don't see juvenile. Yeah, she had a conflict tonight. Probation, but we do have a copy of their reports in our packet. And, and probation, uh, probation couldn't be here, and that reports in there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't want to talk about them, so. <laughs> uh, at this time, we'll need a motion to approve the reports as presented. Motion. I, second. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a motion and a second. second. However, we want to do <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Any old business to come before the committee? New business, I think they mentioned it in the rules of legislative. If you want to put in your request for committee change or whatever, now's the time to do it. And and they bring that to your office, is that correct? They or can or direct to be a, but that's where it'll go back to is the rules okay. committee to, uh, to gather those or to have them uh, look at yeah, they'll be in possession of the, so they'll see then if there's any specific request, uh, they'll have it in front of them at their next their next month's meeting, and then from there on to the commission for January. It's the ideal path. I've got one announcement. I'd like to, to thank everybody for your thoughts, prayers, and the cords, and the, the love I felt from people all across this county and the recent loss of my mother. Mm -hmm. uh, just thank you all. It means a lot to hear from, from friends and, and everyone at those times. So, and, and there's other people out there. You know, if you know them, reach out to them. A phone call means a lot or a text even to these days. You know, it means a lot to these people. So thank you all. Wonderful lady. She was. We all think our mothers are special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure, and they certainly are. All right, we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Sure. All right.